Hi everyone, it's Stacy with r and Ranch, and I am here today with my beautiful daughter, as always, Belle. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. Um, welcome. I welcome. mean, this is our first podcast. We just set everything up? We did. We just literally unboxed everything. My multi-talented nephew is here. <laughs> he is our unofficial official producer, producer. of the show. And um, we are like, let's just give it a go. Yeah. Let's hit it. Yeah. Let's plug it in. Take them out of the boxes. <laughs> Hope nothing needs to be charged up. And we're going to start. So, so here we are. So here we are, yeah. which is, um, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's almost kind of a surreal thing that we're doing a podcast, especially since this was born out of dad. The, yeah. The idea of, yeah. of my husband doing a podcast. You're like, oh my God, you know so much. Like, you know so much about everything. Yeah. Dad, you should have a podcast. Yeah. Like, like you could talk about... Uh, just like, you could talk about anything. Literally anything. Like about <laughs> microphones. Yes. And we're like, you should have a podcast. People would love it. Yeah. And then we're... Like, and he'll be like, old man Sony. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then and we so were like, really no, started I, getting on a roll with that. We were like, yeah. you know, making a thing. And we're like, this is, you know, really good for him. And then we and, were like, wait a second. Wait, I think we should people people really like listening to us. And I said, we should have a podcast. And so we went from So planning, we're like, no, Dad, you shouldn't have a podcast. Who's gonna listen? Nobody. 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 But yeah, so it went from full speed ahead yeah. for dad to, to full speed ahead uh, for us. Full speed ahead. By that night we had our ducks in a row mm-hmm. and we had uh guests lined up and and um, guests lined up in our head. In our heads. Yeah. <laughs> in our heads, which is <laughs> no. We had one guest. The way we operate, huh? We have one guest. We do. Yeah, I know. We've got one guest confirmed. Yeah, confirmed. One <laughs> confirmed. But we might have Dan on. But you know what? Then we took it, and um, like I, I remember from my fitness background days that the best way to um, do anything. Like if you're like back when I was running just a little bit, the best way to improve yourself and to go and commit to something is to sign up for something and then you announce it. So, so now we have to do it. So you have to do it. So most people, um, when they run, you know, they'll sign up for a 5k. So when you sign up, you've made that commitment and then you tell people and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a 5k October 29th. And then like, now you have to do it. Yeah. So what, what we did was once we talked about it and we got all excited, we had all of our ideas. Um, you threw it out there on the day, story that night. We put it on the story no, no. and said, what you put it on the story what? because I we, said, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, you put it on the story. We, now we can't go back. Well, and here we are okay. sitting in our kitchen with microphones, headphones. But that's me. I, I mean, I, I do take the bull by the horns on yeah, things. I, and and right. that's how a lot of things happen. But at any rate, um, so we threw it out there and yeah. we said, who wants us to have a podcast? And I think it was something like 97 or 98% mm-hmm. of our followers, our fans, um, overwhelmingly said yes and so here we are and then we took um another step and said what would you like us to talk about and we received tons of suggestions and great ideas um all of which everyone that sent us a suggestion i screenshotted and Mm -hmm. then we wrote it down so we've got all of all of everybody's ideas and and um but a lot of the topics that we're going to talk about Mm -hmm. aren't just the barn like it's going to well i think we should always start with the barn Mm -hmm. update you know and of course we're going to have episodes about horses minis Mm -hmm. dwarfism the barn our horses but i think you know with your readings that you've been doing out of that one book what's the even called uh how does everything work Yeah. yeah from that you know people love learning yeah. Random things. And so, I, I, you know, I think some guests could be non-horse related. And I think people oh, would totally. love that. No, that's, that's really, I think, the really fun, um, positive spot that, that came out of this is that 
everyone's ideas that when they submitted them to us was not just about yeah. the barn. Yeah. Um, you know, on our story, that's where a lot of the um, incidental stuff about mm -hmm. what's going on around, whether it's around the barn or in the house or mm -hmm. around the house on the property somewhere. And that's where we put all that, you know, filler kind of stuff. And so, I was very that. surprised to see. It, yeah. Well, not only do they love it, but people were like, hey, we want to see, you know, your gardens. Mm -hmm. We want to know more about them. So we thought, oh, why not bring in our landscaper, the yeah. head of the company that, mm -hmm. that has worked so much on the property and can talk about, um, you know, maybe landscaping around mm -hmm. barns or just mm -hmm. whatever is going on at this yeah. time of the year. Somebody else said they no, wanted I think some that's great. fitness tips. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about, you know, we can bring someone in. We're Mo. still, what? Mo. Oh, Mo, well, you would be great. We can still, um, I mean, we're in the middle of this pandemic. Not everybody has gone back to a gym. I know I haven't. I know you haven't. And so we're still trying to figure out how to get a workout in mm -hmm. when you're by yourself and you got to motivate yourself and it's not easy. Um, we also talked about having um, the owner of Annie Guns, which is, yeah. you know, a local... Um, I don't know what they're ranked, if it's a nationally ranked five-star <laughs> restaurant or not. I don't know. It's just it's just a great restaurant here that happens and to be... And market. Yeah, and the smoke market. Yeah. Smoke. <laughs> the smoke house. Um, the smoke market. <laughs> that, you know, we have the owner come in yeah. and talk about, you know, people are busy and yeah. not only busy with barns, but they're busy with their lives. Can you give us just like a really good quick meal yeah. that we can make at the end I of the day? I think that's great. So I think that this is actually going to be fun because we're going to get a lot of horse stuff in here, but we're going to filter in some yeah. other things. I think it's, and, I think it's um, a great idea. I, 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 I really think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, what's different about doing this though versus doing our you know we usually do instagram live mm -hmm. and whether it's doing a book reading or a barn update or a ted talk any of those things we're live mm -hmm. with our fans and we get immediate feedback i mean we get hearts we get laughs we get smiles we get questions mm -hmm. and so it makes it um like you know you're on the right track, you yeah. know, because you get this immediate feedback. Right. Um, you also, uh, it, it, it just, you know, like somebody will say, hi, hi, and then from, you know, Germany or mm -hmm. wherever. And so you have this, this audience interaction and doing what we're doing now, we lose that, which is really, I know, but it I almost think feels done, unnatural. Well, but I, I feel like we've done the, uh, you know, we've done enough Instagram lives and TED Talks and book readings to know what people like and mm -hmm. and what our fans like to hear and what they like to hear about. And, you know, of course, we always get, you know, the same questions like, mm -hmm. how many horses do you have? Where right. are you located? But, um, you know, I think the uh, listeners or I guess are, are the fans who listen to all of the Instagram lives, they know, or they, they have more like in-depth questions. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they want to know like if Eleanor's sick. Yeah. They want to know very specific. Right. Right. Whereas, uh, you know, some people just course. tune in and, mm -hmm. and so I think, um, you know, uh, a little bit of today will be kind of those basic questions and, yeah. um, and then going forward, it will be more in depth, um, like, I mean, we can give like a barn update today. Oh, totally. It, you know, totally. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff today that is new mm -hmm. for you and I to do it in a setting like this. Look, we're in my, you know, our kitchen. We're not in Here's the barn. Here's our kitchen. Here's our table. Yeah. We're not in the barn. So that's also kind of an unnatural feeling. Yeah. We're usually in the barn. We're mm -hmm. outside. We're with the horses. We're with... Um, you know, we're, we're within that barn environment. Yeah. However, in order to do a podcast, mm -hmm. it's got to be a very controlled mm -hmm. setting. It's got to be quiet. We had to move the birds out of here. Mm -hmm. We've got the dogs in the back. Ellie's gone. Ellie's gone. <laughs> we had to put the cat in my room, yeah. you know, so everything is very controlled. Mm -hmm. There's no way we could be in the barn no. and, um, no. and with the uh, road being right there, the ro the, Milton would the, cry <laughs> every time we take a pause, you know, spooking. At this. <laughs> so, at um, this. 
So anyway, so this is uh, this you is know, new. I mean, it's new. It's just, it's, it's new. It, it, you know, we're gonna it's figure good. it out yeah. all together. Maybe move locations. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So Maybe I thought facing that, each other. Yeah, because right now we're a little. This is um, our table. Yeah. We also didn't know that we needed a computer. No. And it's slowly charging itself. So you know what? I thought that today, being that it's our first one, I thought that we should um, respond to a question that was probably our number one question, and that is, how did you get started? So let's just capsulate, okay, how we got here. We have only lived on this property for, it'll be five years in um, November at Thanksgiving. It'll five, be five or six. It'll be five. Oh. Yeah, 2015. Oh. So, um, so it'll be five years. And um, we lived, what would you say, a mile and a half away from here? I was going to say half a mile. Oh, half a I mile. I was going to okay. say a quarter of a mile. <laughs> Part for the course with us. Um, uh, a stone's okay, so throw. Lived, well, a we stone's lived throw. very close. Okay. okay, so we had horses before we lived here. We had um, Well, several. I had... You had Red Pony, you had yep. Houston. Yep. My first pony, Charmed. first horse, mm -hmm. show horse. Yep. Pippi. We even bought Pippi. Yep. Did you say Pippi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had four probably four at the time. Four. Yeah. And we had bought this property in 2013. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was on my birthday when oh, we yeah. closed. I turned 50. Oh, God. And um, <laughs> so we had, because we bought, it was just, it was just land. It was just raw land. Mm -hmm. uh, this property used to be, um, you know, when we would drive by it, it used to be referred to as the turkey mm -hmm. land because turkeys were always on the property, which I will say, we still have the turkeys here. We still see them. They still... We have the deer. We have everything. Yeah. I mean, we literally have everything. But um, <clears throat> so when you buy raw land, you know, we learned firsthand mm -hmm. how much work it is mm -hmm. to take... A piece of of land and then develop it right you have to put in your sewer lines your water your electricity well, but those are the things you don't think about when you're like oh this is a beautiful piece of property we could put our house here we can put a barn here yeah let's do it and then you're like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. like nothing's ever been done in this property yeah. and you need everything everything but luckily there's tons of neighborhoods, so it's not, we're not in the boonies. Well, we're not out in the middle of, of nowhere, so we did have utilities that could come across mm -hmm. from across the street or something, but still, there was that whole period of time that was land development, yep. and that took a lot of time, okay? Yep. So while the land development was going on, and we didn't even have the house under construction, I don't even think the, maybe the plans had been finalized. Say the sentence exactly that you said. I think we should have some miniature horses. Okay, so I found two. There you go. Yeah, there it is. So that's that's how it started was because Belle said... Okay, I feel like the blame's always placed on me. Okay, okay. so <laughs> right here, under the bus, um, that it would be fun to have miniature horses, to which I said... Oh Let's gosh. do it. I think that I think would be, be a great idea. That would be great. Yeah. I mean, so, super cute and... Yeah. and uh, Easy. Totally easy. I mean, Let's if, get if we can, if we can have big horses, we can have baby horses. Easy. Okay, so, so that started. So the decision was made yeah. that we wanted to get uh, two miniature horses. No, and, we just said let's oh, get no, a miniature one. horse. Yeah, we wanted one. Yeah. But you started looking on Craigslist, Craigslist and I found two. Found two. Kenzie and Sherman. Yep. What was their names? Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> okay. So here. You know, Bella and I, we can talk ourselves into anything. Well, yeah. And we're like, let's they're get so them cute. Now. This is so. Yeah. Let's get them now, so we can learn. So that no, they we learn. We're like, let someone else take care of them. Take care of them, mm -hmm. and teach them to like be good. Mm -hmm. And then when we're when we have our barn ready, mm -hmm. it'll be great. We'll just throw them in. How'd that work out? It didn't. Okay. So 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 we learned. Um, firsthand mm -hmm. especially with Sherman and Miss McKenzie mm -hmm. um, when we got them and they were babies they were two years old mm -hmm. still 
you know, babies. I mean, short mane, short forelocks, all of that. So cute. The cutest. And they had We didn't even lovely... know they were babies. No, we didn't. Well, we didn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we at least could have known their age. I'm sure we knew their age. We didn't but know. But we, didn't, we, we didn't, didn't know. Like, oh, they're babies. Yeah, still. we didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know. So, um, well, they, you know, and oh. just, I mean, literally the nicest person in the world mm -hmm. owned them. Mm -hmm. And she drove them in with her husband. And, um, you know, we were their fourth owner. Mm -hmm. So, so when we do tours in the barn, they are the reason that we have the barn. Mm -hmm. You know, here we got these two cute little miniature horses. Just for every other reason, every reason all their other have, owners had them. Exactly. Because we thought they'd be fun. Yeah. And we got them. And here we are now. They've changed hands four times in two years. Mm -hmm. So it could be that they moved you know, every six months. Mm -hmm. Could be that they moved three months and then stayed for five months. Who mm -hmm. knows? But that's how we got a crash mm -hmm. course and what the heck is going on? Like, like what's why wrong are with these them? horses yes. changing hands mm -hmm. so frequently? Because they also change hands for um, farm equipment, mm -hmm. goats, mm -hmm. any kind of egg, animal. I'll give you a mini, you give me your sheep, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So, so that's how, so we got them yeah. and we had to board them. Yeah. And I remember at the time where we were boarding, I remember the, the um, manager had said, Okay, now miniature horses are different. Mm -hmm. I know that they're taken care of differently. So mm -hmm. she did know that yeah. much, but that was about that it. That was it. I mean, we uh, saw it, them. It was like, I, I know that I need to learn mm -hmm. to do something different. Yeah. And we were like, okay, great. Thanks. Great. Thanks for taking Whatever care of them. Whatever you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of them. So, um, so anyway, so that's, that's how we, we got them and they were bought, oh gosh two years before we before we um even had the house yeah two yeah because we bought them in 2014 oh yeah I've noticed, and we didn't I've bring the horses home until 2016 yeah so oh yeah so there was a yeah. long lag time yeah that they really didn't know us yeah because they were kept out at mm -hmm. basically at a show barn mm -hmm. well it was a show barn I, I know. and sorry. the kids loved them i mean kids the kids them. would take them out Play with them, they throw them in. Yeah, yeah, they got socialized, but they didn't know us as their owners. No. no. We were just like, hey, Kenzie, hey, Sherman, you're so cute. Yeah. Glad we own you. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so kind of fast forward, you know, we get our land developed, we get everything done, we start with the barn. And we're like, okay, we just want to have this little three cute star, little two stall, three, three, three stall three star, barn. Three stall. We want to bring Red Pony home. We want to bring Houston home. Mm -hmm. And now we've got minis. Mm -hmm. So now we need three stalls. And no problem. Um, huh? No problem. No problem. I mean, it was just all on paper. We're like, okay, yeah, we'll make it Looks three good. stalls instead of two. Yeah. And um, and so that's that's how it happened. So six weeks after we bought them. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call from the same person we bought them from. And she called me and she said she was at a, a, an auction and there was a mini and her baby. And uh, she wanted to let me know if I wanted them. I'm like, Mary, no, I don't want them. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I have two. I only wanted one. Um, no, we don't want them. But send me the dreaded picture. But send me a picture. <laughs> I need to see them. <laughs> So, because I can't say no, she said, she said, well, I just, I knew how much you loved them when I, you know, you got Sherman and Kenzie and, and, um, and everyone at your barn seemed to love them. I said, Mary, everybody at the barn loves them. Doesn't mean we need but, more. But like, we were lucky that they took them. Most yeah. places, uh, and show barns, they don't want minis. No, they don't horses. want mini minis, but they also don't want two horses living in one stall. Mm -mm. It's, they don't make any money. No. So, um, anyway, yes, you're right. So then she told me that they might separate them, you know, sell the mother and the baby separately. Mm -hmm. And I had a hard time with that overnight. So I <clears throat> called her in the morning and I asked her to send me a picture. 
she found someone whose phone takes pictures and sent it to me and the rest is history. I mean, we've, we've shown that picture of M mm -hmm. a million times mm -hmm. because it was M and Stanley. Mm -hmm. And um, here she was looking very pathetic, pathetic, bedraggled, whatever you want to say. Sad. So sad with that little boy sitting on mm -hmm. top of her. He looked sad too. He I did thought. look sad. I felt sorry for him. He did look sad. And here he was sitting on top of her and yet his feet could almost touch the ground. Mm -hmm. So way too big for her. She's small and Fragile. you know we just like we just kept learning okay so here's a little boy on top of a miniature horse mm -hmm. he's too big brought her in the baby Stanley was only four months old now he's six, six. almost seven mm -hmm. and Stanley. so that's how it started mm -hmm. we really just kind of um, so now within six weeks mm -hmm. We had four miniature horses when we only wanted one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah we wanted one. And the barn was just a, a drawing. Yeah. And then um, that summer, okay, because we got them in, in uh, February and then April, that summer was when you, uh, let's say Oliver was going to Truman. Yeah, but... Summer school? Spent, oh, no. I was, Yeah, we were going out to Mizzou. Yep. No, you were going to Mizzou. Mm-hmm. And you saw the girls. Well, mm -hmm. you saw a field yep. of minis. Yep. And now, granted, they are, I mean, they are minis, but they're pretty big. They were big. Um, and, and we would stop. Yeah. And we would stop and we'd go pet them and blah, blah, blah. And there was button. always Ella. She yeah. always came up to the fence please, and we'd always pet me. her. Huh? So please, someone take me. <laughs> And uh, she was also young. She was also a baby. Look she at was. The I her know. Her little mane is just I like know. spiked up. I on know, her. but she, they didn't seem young because they were so much bigger. Yeah. Like Stanley, we had him. He was a baby, which we so completely missed. We did. I'm sorry, Stanley. But um, you know, and then we got the girls, yeah. and uh, they are plenty big. Yeah. And so you know, we never thought of them as babies because. They were so big. They were much bigger than the other minis. So even though they were young, we just were uh, like, oh. Do you remember when you had to um, meet the guy who was going to mm -hmm. haul them and how traumatic was that was? tragic. I mean, it was their first experience getting on a trailer. And oh, it, it, being handled. Yeah. I mean, I think they had gotten some shots before. I don't know how. Yeah. But... Oh my gosh, getting them on the trailer. Yeah, I mean, that traumatic. was just. I yeah. remember I was at a vet appointment. Yeah. And you called me. I was like, Mom, we got to send like, them back. In hysterics. Yeah. I was like, we have to take them back. They, like, they can't. They're, they, I mean, they were wild. Yeah. They were wild horses. Mm -hmm. And then perfect. we got them. We got them home. Mm -hmm. And they had to coax them off the trailer with mm -hmm. some grain. Which they had never seen before. Carrots? Yeah. No. Didn't know how to take them. They, they couldn't like, take them. No. They were like, what, are you, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> And, um, okay, so that was Sophie and Ella, and what was it, maybe a month or so after yeah, we but, got but, them? But besides being feral, never given us a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they're the best girls that we had. They're the best you ones know, in the barn. But they're, like, I mean, they were so scared getting on the trailer, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And then, you know, when they get in the barn, they're like, oh, okay, I guess this is what we they're do now. They're such good-natured yeah. girls. So, um, anyway, then remember, like Ella started looking heavy mm -hmm. and we said to Dr. Hoover, you should check her. We think you should check her. She lived in a field. She lived in a field to see if she could be pregnant. Okay. So she come came out and check her. So she came out and she did an ultrasound and, um, she was pregnant. Surprise. And, and we said, well. Her sister is in the same field, so she check her. She uh, did an ultrasound on Sophie. Sophie was pregnant. Okay. So now we have six miniature horses, mm -hmm. two which are pregnant. Mm -hmm. That was in August. By that spring, they had their babies. That was Betsy and Lucy. Mm -hmm. Well, no. Before that, we had six minis. Mm -hmm. Two, the girls were pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the barn we were keeping them at was shutting down. So we had to find a new barn oh, yeah. to th put all my horses yeah. and the minis and say, hey, by the way, um, two are pregnant. Are pregnant. Yeah. So, and we don't know when they're going to be born. Yeah. So that barn came to our rescue big time. Yeah. And big time. Um, literally came and hauled uh, 
what about 14 horses that day? I mean, there's two massive trailers that came yeah. to get all well, of the horses. Well, they had the six minis, like 10. Okay. Yeah. Houston. Yeah. Charm. Pippi. Mm-hmm. And the minis. And um, so, you know, we had to keep boarding these horses because mm -hmm. the barn then still wasn't built, wasn't even under construction. No. And yet we had to keep adding stalls. Yeah. And so we and ended it, up... if you build it, they will come. Yeah. And they didn't stop. And it wasn't built. So our cute little two-stall or three-stall mm -hmm. barn grew until it was a nine-stall mm -hmm. barn. And if you remember, we always wanted to keep one stall open yeah. just in case, like, because everybody lived together. And so we were like, well, if we need to separate them, yeah. we need it's to like have a health, stall. Yeah. Uh, health stall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it got so that never good. happened. We never had the health stall. Um, we call that our garage. <laughs> we our, call that our basement. Our health stall. Um, and we ended up having nine stalls yeah. plus a wash rack mm -hmm. plus that's, an office. That's now a stall. Yeah, which is now a stall, um, yeah. and uh, that and we ended up putting mm -hmm. two minis per stall. Mm -hmm. um, so things really rapidly changed, and we ended up, uh, I would say, eighty-five or ninety percent of our minis, we had to board mm -hmm. before we could bring them home. Mm -hmm. We brought them home. The barn was finished in May. Mm -hmm of 2016 mm -hmm. then we still had to do all the fencing mm -hmm. that was a lot yeah so once the fencing was done we brought them home in October mm -hmm. and uh, it was like the second time that I had driven a trailer <laughs> good luck everybody it was literally good luck everybody good luck to us and good luck to them yeah, good luck we wish you well. Yeah. Remember, Dad said mm -hmm. we'll have Dr. Hoover come over once, once a, week. a week once She'll a week check, check all the horses check them mm -hmm. <laughs> That didn't happen, but no. I mean, and it we should have. We were on a lifeline with her. Yeah, um, because everything that could go wrong went wrong. Went wrong. I mean, Milton choked within the first Mil three no. weeks. Milton tried to jump out <laughs> of the stall within the first like forty-eight hours. Yeah, he did. He got, and he I had a hoist like him. Teetering, teetering. I had to put um, a lead rope yeah. underneath him and hoist him backwards. <laughs> and it's like the last one that you would ever want to happen to. It was Milton. And I'm like, he's stuck. He's jumping out. <laughs> You're by yourself. I'm by, no, no. Not a guest. Yeah. And friend over. Yeah. And we just put it up, hoisted him right back over. Yep. And he was like, oh, I'm not going near that door ever again. Oh and my so gosh. Now he's. You guys, it was just, it was a joke. It was a joke. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. They were like, why do these people own horses? Just stick well, to riding. Here's the thing. Okay, I think people don't realize this. Yeah. We've had horses, you've been riding since you were in second grade. Yeah. So that's seven years old. Okay. Yeah. So um, at the time, what was I, 18, 19? I was in school. Yeah, I was a freshman. So I was 18. Okay. So, so 10 years. We, okay. So we, so 10 or 11 we were on years, horses for 10 the, years. Here's the thing that people don't understand. When you ride horses, and especially when you compete, like Belle does in the hunter jumper world. You have your horse at a barn that is a show barn. Mm -hmm. And that is part of your board that you pay for. You pay for your horse to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. So anything that is from their feed to their supplements, mm -hmm. to their medical care, to their health history, mm -hmm. I mean, that's all taken care the of. The barn manager yeah. knows the horses inside yeah. and out. Not necessarily the rider or the owner. Yeah. Certainly not me. No. So, um, so we both had mm -hmm. it, this massive learning curve yeah. that we had to take on yeah. when we brought the horses home. Because it's like, yes, we have all these horses, but we've never been involved with their care. No. So when we did bring the minis home, I had been over at at the barn where we were boarding them a lot, mm -hmm. learning yeah. and gratefully so. Learning how to like clean a stall. Oh my gosh. And you know, Michaela mm -hmm. was the, was the owner. Mm -hmm. she, I think she shared every morsel of her knowledge mm -hmm. to the best that she could for us to try to get off on the best start. Mm -hmm. 
not only with giving us advice on, on when we were building our barn, mm -hmm. but also how to take care of these horses. And I'll never forget when she said to me, she said, you know, because I was always worried about colic. Mm -hmm. Like that was my biggest fear. I didn't even know how to identify it. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, you'll, you'll know your horse mm -hmm. and you'll know if it's not acting right. And that was my biggest fear. I thought, how am I going to know if they're acting right or yeah. not? That was scary to me. Yeah. And of course, now I know. Yeah. And now that would be the, the advice I would impart to someone. Yeah. But, um, but that was my, my biggest worry. So when we brought these horses home, it was like literally, okay, who do I pray for more? Yeah. Me or them? Yeah. You know? Just keep, just stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Just like, don't get sick. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything mm -hmm. that's... And so we had a big learning curve. Massive. Oh my gosh. And you were at school. And I was home. Yep. Good luck. And, uh -huh. Good luck. Yeah. And I started taking care of them mm -hmm. when we had, we brought home Stanley and Emma, then we brought home... Yeah, we brought home Bambi, Bambi and Melton. Bambi and Melton, Stanley and Em. And then I think the we girls. brought home the girls. Yeah. And then when we had six, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. It literally was so time consuming. It was taking up my whole day mm -hmm. to be there to clean, feed, mm -hmm. turn them out, mm -hmm. turn them right around, bring them back bring in, them in, clean the stall again, feed them. Clean the mm -hmm. stall again. Mm -hmm. It was it was everything. Yeah. At, like I couldn't even go for a walk. Yeah. Um, can you can you imagine if we had six right now? It, it would be like uh, e I, stupid I, easy. I, I, I would do it in my sleep. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it really just evolved, and everything about the barn evolved. Our our knowledge mm -hmm. evolved. We our started, roles in the barn. Our roles in the barn. Our relationship with the horses. Yep. Everything. I mean, we, had, we had to, to hire us people for oh. advice. What? People coming to us for advice. Oh my gosh. Which is yeah. People coming to us. Frightening. Are, but you know what? It was frightening at first, but I really do feel like, um, I mean, we've got a grip on it, you know. And and we've we've seen, we've seen more unusual mm -hmm. and difficult health situations mm -hmm. because of the kind of horses that we have yep. than most people will ever see. Yep. And so I Unfortunately. Do, yeah. But I do think that we've, um, you know, there's a certain, I mean, my word, we teach seminars on how to, you know, yeah. how to take care of them. Yeah. So yeah, I think that we've grown tremendously. I think we owe it a lot to those that we have worked with along the way. Mm -hmm. How many times would I send a message to, you know, Michaela, or to, you know, Ellen mm -hmm. when, when there is a situation. Or, you know, Catano come over mm -hmm. anytime we need help. You have to surround yourself with yeah. people that know more than you. Definitely. And everybody out there in the horse world, I'll be the first one to say, you know more than me. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like to think that I've learned quite a bit. Yeah. And I'd like to think that you've learned quite a bit. And, and together, yeah. we figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, without... Like Dr. Hoover, Dr. Murad, mm -hmm. anybody at Mid Rivers mm -hmm. that literally we can call at any time, day or night, mm -hmm. and you know we joke, we say, you know, gosh, the the laughs that they must have over. You can't believe what the Rolfs did today. You can't believe it. You can't believe what's I, going I, on I with mean, the minis. <laughs> Just like give them some band meat. Stop calling us. <laughs> like we have to be yeah. the lunchroom fodder yeah. over there. Um, Remember, I mean, anytime Em would get hurt, she's like... My leg's broken, and I can't move. And then we would be like, she's broken. You need Someone needs to come over right now. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, she's walking on her. She's walking on it. You know what? No, she's holding it again. I, I think someone needs to come. How about when, she looks fine. How about when Betsy had a locked stifle, and we're like... We're like, she can't put her foot down. I mean, she can't. She's three-legged. I mean, the drama that comes out of these like, minis. Yeah, and then we're like calling back, you know what, she's fine. She's fine. It's, it's working. You know what? <laughs> no, I think somebody else is doing it now. And they're like, okay, can you just walk them backwards? <laughs> and I don't any know Anytime somebody would get sick, I mean, we immediately go to DEFCON 5. Like, oh my God. They're I broken. Like they're dying. They're dying. <laughs> Like, but I know, but like we, I feel like we still kind of do that. We do. Yeah. We do still have a, um, 
it's a little a panic level of, yeah. of threshold that is getting better mm -hmm. but um I, you know like when yeah, Banks but, was so sick yeah but like when they hold their legs up in the air like i'm broken are well, you like teddy you know like when teddy was was like oh i'm hit you know oh, when just, baker just ate him yes. yeah teddy was like, like i'm hit and now we're like you're okay walk it off walk it off <laughs> you're okay yeah um so yeah i think we've no come we definitely along, yeah we have come a long way a, a long way um, and you know we can identify you know a different sound in a cough now we yeah. don't hit the panic button as much but right we know that i know. still think that we hit the panic button a little bit with colic or if we don't think that they're right which i think well, is we fine do. we do and i always am when we still I would don't rather know how be to safe than them. sorry yeah. i'd rather have them come out if yeah. they give me the option of would you like me to come out? Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah, I really mind. would. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I do uh, think that, you know, we don't administer any drugs without anyone saying so. We don't even consider, like, do we have banamine back there? Until we say, if they say, yeah. give them a dose of banamine, yeah. then we're like, okay. Okay, yeah, we can do but that. But we, we just don't do that. We don't take it upon ourselves. No. We don't take it upon ourselves to, no. you know, other than wipe the gook out of their eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, we literally get Take advice. their temperature. Yeah, uh, we literally get advice uh, uh, from everybody. Yeah, but I think we've learned so much. Yeah, I mean, we have. we have really professional um, stethoscope, and we can hear gut sounds, and we can we don't do. Really use it though? Huh? We don't really use it. Though. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, you know, we we've heart rates, respiration is tricky. I don't <laughs> think we know how to do that one. No, we definitely know how to but, do that. But um, no, we've definitely come a long way. And um, you know what? We have miles more to go, but I think we've uh, don't know how to with... give shots. Huh? Don't know how to give shots. Mm -mm. We, we tried. tried. We tried. <laughs> we tried. No, we definitely oh, tried. And I was like, was, just was... give it to me. Let me do it. Let me just stick Ted quick. And yeah. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I'm like punching him. I'm and I'm just like I'm jabbing him. And I'm like, it's not going in. Like and he's like four days. Yes. <laughs> God, that was terrible. Yeah. I was like, I can't do, I can't, I actually cannot stick him. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I don't know how to, <laughs> but I don't have enough guts to. It's, it's not easy. No. And then when we had to take care of, of uh, Booker's eye and they're like, oh, well, you've done a pick line before. And we're like, what's a pick line? What is a pick line? <laughs> no, we've never done one before. I've never actually heard of that. That was before. like massive. That, that was, was really big that for That was intense. Yeah. Uh, care that we and had like to give. make sure like no air gets in it. Like oh okay. And so we would we would push that syringe. Literally, like, it would take us three minutes. Yeah. To go through. Yeah. The the amount and of. And he's medicine. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. That was above our pay grade, but we did it. Yeah. And he looks phenomenal, and I think we did a great job. We did. He saved. We, I mean, his eye is saved. And, I know. And the little ulcer. But the is... fact that they thought we could. Oh, but you know what? He was at Mizzou. They don't know us. Mm -mm. I think if they had, if he had done that at Mid Rivers, they might have been like, yeah, we'll, know, keep we'll, we'll, we'll keep him here for a week. Keep him here. We'll just keep him. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Mizzou was like, no, just great. take him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we would be like, okay, great. We'll come visit. Yeah. Maybe. But instead he came home from, from Mizzou mm -hmm. with like a little bra mm -hmm. that they made for his, mm -hmm. for his eyes. Face. Yeah. Yeah. Like little fishing cups. Yeah. They're like, oh yeah. You, we're like, mm, no, we don't actually know yeah. how to do a pick line. Yeah. I've never heard of it. That was intense. Yeah. So we've learned. We've learned a lot. Big so, time. Um, you know, we kind of really went off on on a, a tangent there with with talking about how we got started but mm -hmm. so you know what that's pretty much how we got started though don't you think what we were talking about how we got started and we just ended up on a booker's pick line <laughs> teddy get so this is what we need you to say so get back, get to, back the to what we're talking about <laughs> we need to give josh our list <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, this Keep is it, for like three yeah, weeks. Rain it in. Yeah, rain it in. Yeah, because yeah. Booker could have been like an entire show. Well, it will be an entire, the Booker show. The, the Booker, Booker show. The Booker How cute is that? Oh, that's something, you guys. We need well, a by name. by the time this airs, we'll have a name. I'll have to put it on our um, story. Our, yeah, on our story. That we need a name for this. We don't Book even know what to call ourselves. The Booker show. The Booker yeah, no, baby. Nobody's. The, the Booker yeah, baby. Anything. It should be something with Martha. We've got Martha right here in front Somebody made that for us. I know. Whoever made this. It's priceless. Can you make a booker in a... She is in... Baker? I believe she is in... Is she in Australia or somewhere in Europe? She's... I was going to say Virginia. 
No, 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 oh. no, no, no. That place is called like Bird Cage. Oh Fox yeah, Bird or Cage. Like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. No, she this did so a cute. phenomenal job of Martha. So yeah, so we have to come up with a name. Yep. I'll I'll see if we can get some ideas from our mm-hmm. fans, and um, you know what? This was fun. I think yeah. we had a good time. Yeah. I think it was way more um, easier than uh, what we were thinking it yeah. was going to be. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So we're going to wrap it up. And then next time we talk, um, we, we have a lot of stuff. Like we wanted to tell you about our future guests that mm-hmm. we we're going to bring on and different topics we're going to cover. We'll do that next time. Because again, I just don't want this to go on so long. And, yeah. And our next episode yeah. with Josh, yeah. that's going to go on long. Well... Well, <laughs> I mean, just because well, we're recording it yeah. doesn't mean he's going to be the next one that airs, oh. you know, because I think we might need to do another one before okay. we, we stick right. him in there. That's but fine. at any okay. rate, yeah, anyway. we've got one coming up on Saturday. So I do want to just leave with this because I really, I, I really like this comment that, um, that was sent to us because honestly, you know, we have, I can't understate it or overstate it, how great the fans are that follow the ranch um, loyal beyond loyal yeah i mean heartwarmingly mm-hmm. um tied to us to martha i mean martha's pull martha's magic martha's being is something that has struck a chord with people all over this world Mm -hmm. every age every age no matter how young or how old Mm -hmm. Martha has woven her way into their hearts whether it's because she has overcome so much herself Mm -hmm. or she has overcome what she has and she's taken life by by the horns Mm -hmm. and literally run with it Mm -hmm. She makes people laugh. She makes people forget their problems. Mm -hmm. She gives people courage. She gives people encouragement. Martha has this um, aura Mm -hmm. that has simply captured so many people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And she was the impetus that caught everybody. But what was really um, great to see is that this wonderful group of people that she has captured also want to see our other horses Mm -hmm. succeed Mm -hmm. and their health issues um, improve Mm -hmm. and get better. And, you know, we have a lot of them. They they all have a lot of uh, problems. And so, you know, the fans that we have we have become so close with, Mm -hmm. which is unreal. I mean, I told somebody the other day, they wrote something and I said, I feel like I should be setting a place at at Thanksgiving for you, you know? So I just wanted to just end with this. Um, This was a message that we just received and it says, I just want to thank you for posting such beautiful, cute and uplifting messages during this frightening and nerve wracking period of American history. It means a lot. I check every day to get a smile, even though I don't post every day. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's nice. It's so nice. And that, and that fills our hearts yeah. to know that whatever it is that's in our barn, whether it's Martha, Milton, Chloe, M, the girls, mm-hmm. whoever it is mm-hmm. that has brought you to us and kept you here, um, it is a tremendous group of people mm-hmm. that we are so blessed to call our fans mm-hmm. and so many we call our friends yeah i was gonna say our, our friends and we call our friends yeah and, you know when we address everybody in a post it's to our friends and the thing is you know is we have a, obviously a very large following but the fact that and we get so many comments and, mm-hmm. and just so many messages but there are so many usernames that we can recognize yep and that's because these people have been around for, you know, whether it was the start of Martha, yep. before Martha, mm-hmm. and they comment on everything, they know everything, mm-hmm. and 
we can talk about these people as if they live in the next neighborhood over. It's true. And it's true. And how many times have we said about and, Hey, have you heard from Karen? Yeah. And we'll message her because yeah, hey, we, we know haven't what heard kind of health issues mm-hmm. she has. Yeah. And yeah. and you know, even Mason knows of these people. Yeah. If I if I say, Oh, so and so commented this. Yeah. He's like, Oh wow, you know, and so and, and when people see like our comments that we write back on their comments on, on threads, mm-hmm. um, you know, if somebody sees what I write back to Granny, mm-hmm. they might think that that's my grandmother. Yeah. Because I call her Granny. I call and her I'll Granny. And I say, Gramps. Yeah. It's just a person. We've yeah. never even met them. Yeah. But I know so much about mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And we worry about them. We worry I about mean, everybody. I mean, we literally shed tears over some things that we know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know people shed tears over our horses. Yeah. I mean, we have this circle, yeah. this beautiful connection with our fans that I wouldn't trade for anything. Mm-hmm. I, I, I really wouldn't. So with that, with that, I think we are done for the Happy day. first podcast. Happy first <laughs> podcast, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a great time doing it. I think Belle had a great uh, yeah. time doing it. Josh is in control <laughs> and um, we thank him. Yeah. So you guys, thank you so much for listening. We will be back. Our goal is to- We're gonna try- a- to start with like two podcasts a month. Two a month. We'll see. I think that's good because I think we're that's still going to do yeah. reading with the No, horses. I definitely think that's doable. We're still going to do, I'm you saying, know, you know, we're going to start with that. You, who, who knows if it's going to be more, if yeah. it's whatever. We'll see. And whatever people want. Exactly. They're like, uh, just do the Instagram live or do we'll the podcast do more. Want. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. And so any don't, comments. We'll do what you want. Yeah. And any comments that anyone has, you can find us anywhere on um, Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. YouTube, mm-hmm. R&R Ranch Minis. The website. The website, mm-hmm. R&R Ranch Minis. You can find us anywhere. You can reach us to drop us a comment, a note. Um, you can reach me on Instagram because I don't get nearly as many messages as you do. I, but so I, go I see them. All our messages, yeah, that's true. You which is crazy. All, yeah. I mean, I know people yeah. are always surprised Thousands. That, I, that I go back and I, I, I respond to every direct message. Yeah. And um, not if it's like a story reply and people just like send the hard eyes or something, but I don't if, respond to that. But if somebody responds, if somebody just says, Oh, I love her. Like, I, I, I don't even know that I give that like a heart back, yeah. but if somebody has like an a actual comment message and a, a comment, message, a question, you get something back yep. from me. So, yep. uh, you guys, you can reach us. You can let us know what you thought of the content, mm-hmm. what you want uh, to see differently, what you want to see more of. Uh, we hope you loved it. Um, we love I you. I think they're going to love it. I hope so. And, I hope the uh, sound quality is good. Hope the sound quality is good. Hope they That's didn't Josh. hear. Um, <laughs> oh, that is Josh. That's on you. That's on Josh. Uh, so um, you guys, yeah. thanks again. And okay. we will see you next, next time. time. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right.